this new death would wear a familiar face. But not yours. Dancing in a hurricane, Mr. Bond. What makes you say that? I know, it's just me. It's me. You thought that was the actual trailer? Kite dancing in a hurricane? Come on, please. It's just me. But I wanted to be a little dramatic as I choke myself with the string about talking to you about and peel and the different sweaters of Spectre. Because here's the reality. We have the two end peel sweaters today to review for you. And we're going to put it through their paces. We're going to talk about them. We're going to talk about certain care, a little bit about the brand itself. And we're going to have fun. This is kind of what we've all been waiting for. The clothing's starting to show up. So here it comes. Um, you know what? Maybe I should get out of this string and uh, into something a little bit more visual, like this wonderful roll neck that I'm wearing. Let's do that. So now you can see this wonderful sweater without all the different accoutrements and drama around it. First of all, I love the name of the sweater, Fumo Gray Roll Neck. And by the way, the roll neck itself is extremely long. So you can see it's one of those really long roll necks that just kind of come up. So some turtlenecks are not that long. There's a little bit of a fold over, but this one really protects you from the cold. Um, you can also see the particular pattern on here is beautiful. It's extremely luxurious. This one is 100% N-peel cashmere. What does that mean when I say N-peel cashmere? Uh, you know, the whole branding aspect of N-peel is fascinating. So Nat Peel, in 1936, an abandoned shop, he basically took it over. Very plucky Scotsman who decided to take this type of fabric and cashmere and the wonderful fibers thereof and started to create clothes. Pushing through in the 1950s, they hit their heyday with Hollywood. And then in 2007, they were taken over for, for, from two very industrious men who decided to put the brand back out there in a big way. What bigger way than having James Bond wear your brand? And that's exactly what he did, obviously, when he was in Scotland and you know the rest of the story. We, I think, all own those particular sweaters from Skyfall. So let's talk about this sweater. This is the sweater. No spoiler alerts. I think you know this. And if you haven't seen the trailer, then I don't even know why you're on the internet watching this. In fact, you know what? If you haven't seen the trailer, stop this video. You're not allowed to see it. I'll wait. Okay. Um, we know, watching from the trailer, that he wears this in Solden, in Austria, to go see Mr. White. Maybe have another adventure or two around that. But what's great about this is you see him come through and he's, you see the turtleneck. You know it's a very robust piece. It's obviously very cold. There's lots of winter. This thing is unbelievably comfortable. It feels like it would keep you warm, but it's also very thin. Now, I should note right away, you can see that this particular piece is slim fitting. It's got, um, and I wouldn't say slim, I would say it's fitted. The arms themselves nice and tight. You can see the outline of my arm. So this is not going to be baggy. If you remember the Skyfall piece, it hung a little bit looser. This is a little bit tighter around the wrist. You've got these wonderful bands coming along the way. You've got this type of pattern, etc. And then you've got a more hugging, high arm hole type of look, and it's fitted in the shoulder. You can see the shoulders, etc. So even though you can move very well, this is fitted. Now, this is a size small. Why did I get a size small? This is Daniel Craig's size. So this is a little bit more generous as far as room than the tactical mock turtleneck that we're going to be talking about in just a few minutes. That one is very slim fitting. It's tight, very fitted. This one is a little bit loose. As loose as the Skyfall one? No. So if you put them in order, Skyfall, pretty loose. This one, generous, but still fitting. And then the mock tactical 
is even tighter. So when you're doing sizing, you want to think about this. This is a medium, so keep that into mind as far as when you, when you purchase these. Now, the other thing I want to talk about with this is obviously the care of it. So we're going to talk about the mock turtleneck and give a review on that. Let's take a look. So let me correct that. Um, this is a small, not a medium. I said that because it's 85 degrees out and I'm wearing a cashmere sweater. So I'm a little ling a ding -a ding It's okay though. Onward. Well, here it is. The dark charcoal and peel teaser poster sweater. How exciting was it when we saw this particular sweater and then N. Peel's claim to fame immediately hit. Now, the reality is, is we have no idea right now, allegedly, where this sweater takes place within the film. Could be in the end, probably not in the beginning, because we've seen the Mexico pre-title scene and he's wearing that nice Tom Ford suit. So, a lot of speculation around this particular piece. In fact, maybe he has a tweed jacket over it. Who knows? He does have a holster. Mine isn't in yet. But this is incredibly comfortable. 70% beautiful cashmere, the typical end peel cashmere super high end, and 30% silk. And what that does is it creates a very specific, almost tactical feel. It's extremely soft, and you, as you can see, it's extremely slim fitting. Now, this is a medium. Why did I choose a medium? Well, I chose a medium because that's Daniel Craig's size. So, you can see how it fits in the arms. It's extremely tight. In fact, it is like a second skin, quite frankly, on the shoulders. Um, it doesn't feel very long in the sleeve at all. It hits perfectly around there. It doesn't hang down. Um, but this is probably one of N. Peel's slimmest fitting, more tactical pieces that they have, which makes sense. Maybe Bond is in a tactical mood. He's got the holster. He's got the gun. He's, of course, got the... Uh, Omega with the NATO strap. So we've kind of got the look going here, including the herringbone pants. So let's talk about this. First of all, again, with NPL, very comfortable, very luxurious. You want to keep it that way. So, you know, NPL is known for their world-winning cashmere. They don't scrimp on it, and neither should you. So there's a certain amount of care with this type of cashmere that you want to take into mind. First of all, cashmere like this should be dry clean. I know a lot of people turn it inside out, they throw it into a laundry bag and into the laundry. I wouldn't do it. I would spend the extra ducats to clean it well, especially before you put it away for the summertime. Make sure you clean it, you bring it to a dry cleaner who knows what they're doing. Second of all, sometimes cashmere can get some pilling on it. And peel actually sells a cashmere comb, but there's really good cashmere combs out there that can take the pills away without ripping the fabric. You want to be very conscious of it. The other thing is when you put a cashmere sweater away, you want it to be clean and free of odors. Why? Little moths. Moths love cashmere, but the only thing they love more than cashmere is cashmere that's dirty. So put it in a breathable bag or a breathable box, but you want to invest in a really, really high-tech thing. It's almost Q-like. It's called mothballs, or better yet, cedar. Little cedar balls are the best thing. First of all, it's going to make your sweater smell like you just crept through the forest. Second of all, it's going to protect your sweater, and you want to protect this sweater. What I love about this thing also is, you know, everybody was guessing what's the little ridge at the bottom. All of the details are here, the dark charcoal. It doesn't have this deep, deep, deep black. It has a nice charcoal that lets you wear it with, my gosh, probably just about anything. So I love the versatility of this particular sweater. So, in all, what do I think about these NPL sweaters from a review standpoint? Did you have any doubt? Amazing. I mean, it's got that high luxury feel that you know Bond is going to absolutely focus on in everything that he does. But it also has that beautiful kind of history brand lore that NPL has created from Skyfall and I'm sure ongoing. So this has been David Zeritsky for the Bond experience. I'm trying to redo the pose again. We'll see you real soon. Take care. Ooh, serious. Very serious face.